What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Uh, what's going on, folks? You know who I am. The intro alone, you should know who I am. And you honestly know what I do because you kind of show up and look at this. So, I'm about to go in on one of my internationally famous diatribes. So let's go. Today I want to talk about how the Kurds really screwed the pooch. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Kurds. Now the Kurds are as far as in the Pakistan, as far as north of in Russia, far west I think there's Kurds in Israel. But I'm talking about the main Kurds I'm talking about are the Iraqi Syrian Kurds. Now, the Kurds are the odd man out with this ISIS thing. Because before when the Kurds were our buddy, we loved them. But now we got an Arab coalition that's helping us fight ISIS. So now the Kurds, who were who, who should have been on that forming their own country shit, long before all this happened, because they would have got there. I think they would have got their piece of the pie. What happened with now is ISIS is going up in the northern Iraq, and now there is, is is like northwestern. I won't say geographically northwestern Iraq, because there was a city. I forget. Pardon me. I got you got to look at the city up, but it's a city of northwestern Iraq. It's along the Syrian border, no, no, along the Turkish, my fault, the Turkish border. It's along the Turkish border. ISIS went in, and I, apparently ISIS fucking took names. You know, they were, they were like, it was, you know, the old quote, "We're here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and we're out of bubble gum." ISIS went through this city, and I guess it was a, a fairly sized city, and and they just started. It was just a slaughter from what I heard. I mean, I heard the Tur the Kurds fought back and all, but. I, the thing who I how knew how bad it was, I saw a report on a, I'm gonna say on a, on a foreign website. I'm not gonna mention their name. I'm not gonna drop their name. But what I saw is I saw the satellite, a satellite imagery of the Turkish border, Turkish Iran, the Turkish Iran border, Iraqi border, my fault, Turkish Iraqi border. I seen abandoned cars that were abandoned at the border. And there was like, it had to be at least a thousand, at least. And probably was a lot, that, and that was just the section they showed. They didn't go to a wide angle, they just went like a little section. Cars were abandoned because you saw a, a road going to the, to the to the border. And it's the Kurds, man. They get, they, they got down that heavy blow in this city. Like I said, plus, Turkish forces considered Kurds to be rebels. I'm not rebels, to be terrorists. If you have, if you haven't know, that's why you think Turkey's not really gung ho about this bullshit. They don't want to fight ISIS, but they also for Turkey. I think Turkey's using this. They're jump, jumping in and using this as an excuse to attack the Kurds. Myself, that's just me. I don't know if they are, but that's what it seems like to me. Because like in, in Turkey, the Kurds want their own land too. So it's called the KPP. I think if, if somebody correct me on this. They're called the KPP, and so what the Turks have done, the Turks were slick. The Turks attacked their bases in remote, clandestine places, you know. And what happened was the KPP was under was under the quote unquote process of peace negotiations with the Turkish government. So I think what happened was the Turks were like, well, with all this going on. And with ISIS coming up, you guys are running. We don't need we don't need a peace process because we're laying the hammer down. I think Turkey was genuinely the first, genuinely the first as far as the peace process. But I think once ISIS came and reared their head, Turkey was like, "Well, you don't have that option no more. The only peace process option you have is the option we give you." And I think the Kurdish leaders. Being a little selfish, didn't see the situation they were in, and now they're now it's just like they're they're getting, they're getting slaughtered by ISIS. And like I said, Turkey is firing missiles. They won't admit this, but they are doing this. They're firing missiles in the, the KPP bases in the mountains, I guess, of Turkey. No, uh, now what's going to come on the heels of uh? Yes, yeah, the city's Kobani. Kobani. 
I, I, it was going through my mind because I, I just read an article yesterday about it. You know, Cavani against ISIS. I guess, like I said, not if, if, if it's like this. Look at it from a military, a strategic standpoint. If ISIS is fighting the Kurds, and, and mind, mind you, Turkey doesn't get along with either one, basically. Turkey thinks both groups are terrorists. If if ISIS is fighting the Kurds in Kobani and the whole region, Kurdish region, and, if, and in Kobani itself, you got the Kurds running into Turkey. You got the Kurds on the down slope, so Turkey is looking at it as strike now. Turkey is looking at it as hit the hammer, I mean hit the iron while the iron while the iron is white hot, and look what's happening now. So, kind of messed up for the Kurds, you know. It's kind of a bad situation, but it's the art of war, you know, which is a good book to read, by the way. So peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.